Okay, we're looking at Mike Trout, great low ball hitter, but I want to show you here, he, he has a flat swing. And some people think because he's a low ball hitter that he doesn't have a flat swing, but because of his posture, he's able to keep that bat flat. Look how he was able to keep it flat and low in the zone for a long period of time. Um, his back foot's nice and sideways. That was a ball the opposite field, obviously. Swinging across his face, he's holding his posture. But, you know, his bat's taking a nice flat plane. Now here, we get a question from Victor Rodriguez on my video of Aaron Judge. He says, Matt, I love your passion for the game and loved watching you play. I like to play devil's advocate for the sake of learning. Trout has been one of the most productive hitters of the current day baseball. He swings down behind him and doesn't come across flat. Certainly makes adjustments and, and can come across flat. However, for the, for the most part, I assume he says, he's not. What are your thoughts on his production versus staying flat approach? Would you be able to address Trout's swing in a video like you are with Judge? That's an excellent question, Victor, and it deserves a good answer, so here you go. Notice, um, if you take a player like an Aaron Judge who leans back a lot, you're gonna have a lot of swings and misses because we perceive the ball coming in flat, even though it's dropping three feet from gravity over 60 feet. But see, you can see the ball right there. It looks basically flat. It's only going down about an inch over 18 inches. So if you lean back too much, which, which he does because he's really elastic, and sometimes you get out of the way of the ball, or maybe you get in the habit of hitting home runs and batting practice and you just lean back too far, you have that 30 degree angle instead of that optimum six degree angle. Upright posture gives you about three or four feet of margin for error for timing. But you see a guy like a Mike Trout, his posture is right up and down, which gives him an ability, even on a low ball, to keep that bat in the plane flat for a majority of the time. Now he just hits the ball out front there. That just That's just a, that's just hitting the ball out front and catching it a little bit. But even that last little bit of out front is still flat. And I'll show you here. So he's taking this flat part of the zone. He's, he's keeping that bat on line because of his posture. In other words, you're, you're able to reach farther with a flat bat. You're able to reach farther with a... Um, see, look, with a low ball swing and a flat swing, like, a low, like how do you reconcile low ball and flat? It's the barrels below your hands, but you're still swinging it flat through the zone. See that? It's still flat through the zone, relatively. Of course, you're, you're leaning over, and so there's an angle to it. But if you look at his swing, and see it comes through the zone really flat. In other words, he could reach a long ways if he wanted to. That's another way of saying it. But look, as he finishes, you watch him finish, and of course, it's flat below his shoulders. His arms never, you know, they don't finish high. They, they, they go just below the shoulder line. You don't begin above your shoulder and finish over your shoulder. Um, you know, it's not a U, it's a flat swing. That's, your arms move in front of your body. And so you see him swinging flat and out.